Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. I hope everybody's doing well today. Thank you all for coming on early. I appreciate it. Y'all, I almost got stuck because I was watching Penny's video over on the Facebook group. <laughs> I'm still not finished with it yet, so I have to uh, continue on. So, Penny, I'm happy that you like your goodies. And it was kind of funny um, listening to you trying to read the card that I put in there, for real, because I know. I know my handwriting. <laughs> So, uh, if you are new to the channel, we are all junk journal related. So, if you love junk journals and all the beautiful things that go into junk journals, then you definitely want to make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out. And please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. A thumbs up helps the channel to be seen by other people like us who are looking for good content about junk journaling. So please make sure you give uh, the video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And we have a Facebook group as well. So if you need a little bit more than what you get over here on the channel, then you're going to have to make sure that you come over to our Facebook group, which is Junk Journal Buddies. And the link is in the description below as well. And in the description are also some links to some things that we might use or talk about today. It's okay, Penny. Don't worry about it. I can't read my, my writing for real. For real, for real. <laughs> So that, it, it was just funny though. It was funny because I was like, I know, I, the struggle is real. <laughs> All right. So it looks good. My handwriting looks good on camera, but ugh, well, let's just leave it at that. So um, what I wanted to do today is I dove Friday, finish up Friday. Hey, Sharon, I dug um, today, finish up Friday. So I wanted to just finish some things up. And I decided to do some more journal cards because I really I wanted to make some more journal journaling cards for myself. And so I needed to cut some of these words because I was almost all empty because I'm using them for another project as well. Because y'all, this might be uh, my new favorite um my new favorite thing that I like to use are these words. And these are part of a digital kit that is up in the shop right now um i finally got them up yesterday and i'll show you here's the papers this is what they look like oh first before i get started let me just say hey to everybody and uh, again how are y'all doing today because it is friday we are winding down the week and winding up for the weekend so hello ll and Nettie. Also, Penny, thank you for coming on. I'm going to finish watching your video in a bit. And Diane, and also Wendy said, Wendy said hi and bye because she had to go. So I'm glad she came. Thank you for your support. If you come on the replay. And also D and D says her daughter, Izzy, her daughter, Izzy, are here today. And she loved watching when I was, was on yesterday. And made sure that we were on today. She loves it. Right on. And Sharon also. And also Crafty Nana. Hey Crafty Nana. <laughs> Alright. So this is what the. Um, these are called wordplay. And this is what wordplay looks like. It's two sheets of a whole lot of words. And if you have a brother scan and cut. Um, it will cut very perfectly. This is what I was doing before I came on. You can see I cut these words and cut them out very nicely. Y'all, my mat is not that sticky, so I always put it on with a little bit of tape. But you can see the words just pop right out. So I just had to get these last ones off, and I didn't have time to do it before we actually came on. So... I knew you all were my friends and you didn't mind if uh, I took like a few moments to get this going. So um, how many of you watched um, our haul video with me and Bobby with my uh, sister cousin Bobby? Let me know how many of you watched that that are on right now. 
I would love to know. If you haven't watched it, you're missing you're missing some fun times. Let's just put it that way. But how many of you actually uh, watched it? Let me get this last piece off and I can move this out of my way. Ugh. So I got this nice little stack of words I can use now. And then I have two more pages that I can do too. Ooh, Nettie said that she's cold there. Oh, tell Nathaniel I said hello. Hey, Janet. Janet, I haven't seen you like in a million years. Where you been, girl? <laughs> yeah, you need to use your span and cut, girl. Save me so much time. I did this right before we came on, so of course I didn't have time to pick it. I didn't have time to weed it, though. But yeah. All right, so and also let me show you. These are up in the shop as well. And I call these digital fabric, um, not digital, uh, digital fabric pockets. These were actually some pockets that I made for some of uh, my journals and I scanned them and I use them for everything. So I thought maybe I can use some of these also for uh, journaling cards too. So I'll kind of show you what they look like inside of a journal. So this is my journal. Y'all look how fat that journal. Look at that. Oh, you got a new grandbaby. Congratulations, Janet. Congratulations. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer, let me show I'm, let me show you my page since I got this out. Yeah, I'll, you know, it's a, it's a Friday, so I can be slow. Look at that. I love this paper that you sent me. <laughs> and I got the other one on my desk. I'm just waiting to use it. But I couldn't wait to use this because the lady on here was so beautiful. I loved it and so um, let me show you because I think I put like several pockets in here so yeah y'all gonna get tired of seeing this journal by the time I finally get finished with it <laughs> and this is my actual journal this is my woman overboard journal y'all want to know why I call it woman overboard because that's the title of the book <laughs> so let's see uh, let me find the pockets that I put in here. Y'all got letters in here from you all. Yippee yay yay. Let's see. Come on out, little pocket. Don't hide from Lizzie anymore. I know you're in this book. I got a few of them. <laughs> That's your musical interlude for today. Hey, Rachel. Let's see here. Yeah, I love it when my journal gets stuff too. I love it, love it, love it. And this is like nowhere near done, so it's going to be like uh, super stuffed. Oh, here's one of them. So here's one of the pockets. It's hard to see right here. This is actually a pocket. Let me put something in it. It might be kind of big. Let me see. Did I take out some of the journal cards? Oh, actually, I think I'm going to... This was one I made yesterday so i think i'm gonna put this in here that's gonna be one of my journal cards it's gonna go in there and let's see thank you jennifer here's another one of them this is a pocket as well i don't have anything in it right now so it looks like fabric doesn't it and actually these are a little bit lighter because i actually enhanced the colors on these so they have a deeper hue to them too so they're going to look wonderful when you print them out. Here's one I'm using as a journal card right here. I don't have anything on the back just yet. And I just printed these out on regular paper. Y'all, isn't that cute? These are so cute. And here's one. Here's a pocket right here. Looks like a sewn pocket. Look at that. Just absolutely stunning. Okay. Do I have any more pockets? No, I think that's it. That's all the pockets I have. So let me show you these papers and I'll start making some journal cards. Thank you, Rhonda. How you doing today? So here's the papers. So you saw this, this is one of the smaller pockets. So of course you can resize these. And this is a few of the larger pockets. So some of the pages have two pages on them. It's actually 19 uh, pages in this digital kit. And I priced it at a, at a really good price too. Y'all look at the color on that. I know. Let me see. If I put some more light on here, it might kind of wash it out. Oh, look. It matches my nails. 
it's a, a nail match. I'm just going to show you. Oh, here's some of the smaller pockets. Or you can, like I said, you can use them as a journaling card. And I think I just print. Oh, this was a paper that got stuck in my printer. So it still looks good. I'm going to use those. <laughs> and here's some more. You can see all the little threads on here hanging. I got a really good scanner, y'all. Yeah, y'all gotta watch Penny's Penny's video. So here's that um one of the pockets. Look at that. Just beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Jennifer. And big pockets and little pockets. Alright, I'm gonna keep that one out. Alright, so that's all of these. And so this digital kit I put up today as well. So you can get a hold of that anytime you want to, and those are instant downloads. So I thought maybe I can make these into some journal cards also. So yesterday we made quite a few. I got everything all mixed up on my desk now. We had everything all, all mixed up. So I cut out some, some pictures from an encyclopedia. And so I still have a bunch of those left that I can use. And I cut some papers down and we didn't use those yet. And this was my um, my card that Penny sent me, the Sugar Skull. And I already wrote on the back, so this just needs to go into uh, my junk journal. And then I just kind of prepped this card right here. So you can write on the back of this, or I can write on the back of that. Let's just put that there. And... Let's see. So here's the ones that we did yesterday. They were pretty easy. And see, so you have writing space on the back. And I will say that these are not that, well, this one is kind of stiff because I put like a guest check on the back of it, which is kind of the equivalent of cardstock. And this one, you can see they're not like super stiff, but they are good enough for government work. And... So they have lots of space. So my definition of a journaling card is it could be anything that you want. It could be any size that you want. It should be relatively flat and you should have some place to journal on it, of course. So that's how I make these cards. So they will have lots of journaling space on it. So let's move those out the way. And let's move this one out the way. That's going to go in my book. And so I'm going to take one of uh, these and I'm just going to cut it down. Let me see. I think I want like a different color. I don't know. I'm just feeling a different color. Let's see. Let's do these. And y'all, yeah, when I cut it, I don't try to cut it with the... Um, with the threads on there because you know that's like just going just trying to do too much <laughs> that there is too much for me so but of course again you can cut this with your scan and cut too which i have done but you know i would cut it with my scan and cut while we're on but i don't have i definitely don't have the ecosystem to put my scan and cut on the desk because you have to have a little bit of room behind it and so, it would just be a bit of a hot mess. But I did put in the description um, the tips that I had for the scanning cut, so y'all can check that out. I'm going to keep this paper, because I can use that for something else. And most of the kit has uh, either four to two images on it, because some of these were really large, so I had to... Oh, I could only put like two images on. So let's cut, cut. So what are you all going to do this weekend? Y'all have any plans? We have like a fair that's going on here. Like a, like a county, it's not a county fair, but it's like a, a fair that they're having. And I used to take Slim to the fair, but Slim's not here. I don't have no kids to take to the fair. 
That's no fun. Cause I never got on the rides. I just, I just put the kids on the rides. I usually used to um, take Slim and one of his little friends. But now there's no Slim, so I don't have a reason to be there at the fair. It's put on by our Rotary Club. So it's a pretty nice um, fundraising type of thing. We have a good Rotary Club here in our city. I used to be a part of the Rotary Club, if y'all can believe that, a long time ago. Long time ago in a land not so far away. And I enjoyed it, but then I had to go do something else. And I didn't have, I didn't have uh, the time to participate. Because that's a, like a community participation type of thing with the Rotary Club. They do a lot in the city. And it's kind of cool. I remember when I was in the Rotary Club and they put on uh, the fair, the little uh, county fair thing. And that's when I realized how how many people it takes to like put on something like that. Not that many, actually. It was less than 10 people put on a big old fair. But I guess one thing that helped is that they were pretty organized and... Um, they kind of had things in place that they do this every year. So here's our little pockets now that we got all cut and beautiful and nice. And I'm going to take some of these guys again. And I'm just going to use this for a background. And you know what? I don't even have to do anything on the back because it has that um, white on there. So Rhonda said her church is having a fair this weekend. And she'll be spray painting hair. Ooh, you know people love color these days. They love color on the hair. So I could definitely uh, see that as being a winner for a part of the fundraiser. You know, the only thing about these is like I'm covering up all that lovely, those the loveliness on here. So maybe I'll just put, just put him like that. Because I don't want to put too much on here. But y'all know I'm gonna use some words. I'm just gonna make it all about these the word play because I love these words are so cool. And you know what? I can cut these down. They don't have to be this big if I don't want them to be. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Let's see, so that way he won't cover up too much stuff. And do him like that. And then this guy, well he he's on a horsey, so I want to keep the horsey in here. So let's see. Uh, see if we can find another one. Another one. How about, that almost looks like a stamp, doesn't it? Yeah, now I'm going to do some sewing too, so. How about we put him down like that? And then she's covering up everything, but that's okay. I'm just going to use this as a background on that. And I have some words that have been cut already. So, yeah, I'm going to close my eyes and just pick some words. We got hope. I can put hope here. And... I'm telling these words just do a lot for these. Oh, life. That's a good one. Mission. And strong. Okay. I'm good with that. All right. So now I'm going to use some of my glue here. Just to glue some of this stuff down. So it can kind of stay. Well, whilst we sew. And I think I want to use a little vintage photo as well here. Oh, 
just use some vintage photo. Oh, just to let you all know, because Penny did ask me about this too, is uh, you will see uh, a video come up this weekend. I don't know if I'll have one on Sunday or not, but on Saturday, I have a video coming out and um, I'm trying to post up videos on the weekend as well as during the week. So you all will get even more content. So be on the lookout for that. That's already posted and ready to go. So you can put that on your calendar. Same time, six o'clock. I was gonna make it earlier, but then I said, uh, everybody's used to six o'clock. So even on the weekend, I just left it at six just for consistency purposes. Oh, I just wanted to let you all know too. Um, one reason why I was asking y'all if you were on, if you watched the video with me and Bobby um, during the haul, Bobby has started her own channel. <clears throat> she started her own YouTube channel. And it would be so nice if you all headed over there and subscribe to her channel. And not just subscribe, but watch her video. She has one video up right now. If you could go over there, watch her video, and leave a comment. That would be awesome. So I'll give you, if you all want to, of course, I can't make y'all do it, but if you want to, that would be lovely. I would love you forever, because I just want to show her some support, because... She's like a social animal, and where she's at right now is not a lot of social activity. So she's kind of kind of lonely where she's at. So it would be cool to just, um, you know, just go over there and say hi. So if you guys want, I will give you the link. If not, I'll just go visit her myself because I love her so much. <laughs> Yep, more videos, Jennifer, more videos. Thank you, Dee. Oh, you love the background of the mother and the child? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's fabric. That's like for real fabric. All right. I'm just kind of cutting off some of this white. Actually, I'm going to cut it down a little bit. Y'all. Y'all know, I don't know how straight this is going to be because me and Mr. Scissors... Y'all know my my uh, relationship. I will put the page here for you all. Y'all feel like I can't see out of my glasses for some reason. They probably need to be clean. <laughs> I'm like struggling. All right, here is her channel. If you all would do that, that would be so nice. And then just every now and then, you know, go over and visit her. I've been giving her advice. She had, um, her vi video was like private. And I said, girl, post that video. We want to see your video. So she posted it. And she looks lovely and beautiful. And she did a good job. She kind of just did an, introduct an introductory video. So thank you all for your support. And then if she was here, she would, we would be on video together all the time because that's just how we roll. Fun, fun, fun. All right. And what I want to do with these next, even though it has the white on the back, I still think I'm going to put something on the back of these. But I don't want to put things, stack things up on it because I just want to make sure that I can um, write on the back. Well, I want to write on these, but I am part of the swap for um, the journaling cards. There's three swaps right now over in the Facebook group. So if you want to join, you still have time. You have until, I believe, Sunday. Um, Sunday is the last day to join the swap for this month. And then Penny is going to pair people up. And the swaps are fairly easy and you get to 
like write real letters to people even though even though my handwriting is terrible it's nice to write letters because people don't do that anymore all right so oh wait a minute i didn't glue this down <laughs> i just stuck it on here but i didn't glue it down Just using my good old purple glue. I love that purple glue. I, yeah, I thought about putting even more fabric on here, and I said, "Nope, you're doing too much, Liz. <laughs> you're doing too much." All right, and let's put you down here at the bottom. Strong. Now these are some good words for each one of these. All right, so next, I want to put something on the back of these, and I think I'm going to use some guest checks again. Let me see if they're going to be big enough. Yep, big enough for that one, big enough for that one. Okay, it's big enough for all of them. And, oh, I didn't do this one either. Oh, this actually is just about big enough for this one, too. So, I think on the back of this, should I put the guest check up or the thank you up? Because both sides has lines. I think I'm going to put the thank you up on that one. And on these, let's see. Oh. Now I'm going to use some more of my yellow writing paper. Just regular yellow writing paper on the back of this. Because I like the way the yellow paper came out on the other one. So I want to use that. So Rhonda says that she loves reading the notes with um, the Happy Mail. She's going to incorporate them into one of her journals. You should. Because I love putting uh, notes in my journal. So when I go back, I can read them. Because I always go back into my old journals. I don't necessarily read my stuff that I put in there. But <laughs> I do read like um, things like notes and stuff. And look at pictures and everything. So it's just kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right, make sure that's stuck down good. Yeah, now I'm gonna sew it anyway. So, <laughs> so D says, uh, watching my live yesterday made made you want to do your own junk journal, girl. Yeah, you gotta do it. Do it. I'm gonna have more um, junk journal processing videos coming up too. So. Y'all, I did, I have, I think I've developed a habit. I think it haven't been 21 days because they say, they say it takes 21 days to develop a habit, but I have been getting up early every day this week so that I can either work in my junk journal or work on my art journal. So some kind of arting and I've been doing a fantastic job, I have to say. So I got lots of footage. And I usually come on live in the mornings over on the Patreon channel. So if you all are interested in hanging with me live, you can head over there. And the link is below as well to the Patreon channel is Liz for a day also. And we got all kinds of perks and stuff like that over there as well. All right. And then, okay, I'm just going to let y'all set for a second. And then on this one, <laughs> she got you hooked. Ooh, Izzy is 10 and learning how to make junk journals. That's awesome. Because you know what? That's like one of the easiest things a, um, a young adult can do. Because you don't need like a whole lot of expensive supplies or anything. And 
and everything you put in it just can give you some joy. I wish that I knew about junk journaling when I was younger. I do, I do, I do. I'm trying to get this straight out so I'm concentrating. Of course, I didn't learn about journaling and, you know, I never was interested in having a diary or anything like that. But I think I would have loved junk journaling for sure. Because it's quite different than like a regular diary. It's kind of the same, same, but different. So let's see if I can get this down before this glue dries so dang gone fast. I watch people doing their videos and they're using like the glue sticks and stuff. And man, sometimes when they're talking, I'm like, hurry up and put that down before the glue dries. Got a little glue on there. Hey, Shirley. Y'all, it's getting cooler here just a little bit. I went outside to get some water for my plants because I have like a rain barrel outside that, and I use that particular water for my house plants. And I went outside and it was uh, nice and cool outside. I was like, wow, I'm probably still in the 70s, but you know. It's been so hot here that anything feels like super cool. So I don't know if I'm gonna put anything on the front of this or not. I should, I should. We got some long ones that can go on here. And I'm just gonna close my eyes and pick a word. Let's see, compassion. Put compassion on here. I really like using these uh, images too, these black and white images. Kind of take the fuss out of trying to figure out what you're gonna put down. And they look fantastic. And I just printed these out on regular paper and I love them. I love them so much. Oh, Shirley, North Carolina is cold. Oh, that's Rhonda. North Carolina, North Carolina is cool too there, huh? Oh, right on, Dean. I'm glad I make you laugh. Sometimes, you know, I think I'd be I'm I'd be doing too much because I'm not a comedian. <laughs> I I and I don't even think I could have been a comedian because I'm not that funny. But I like to have fun. So I'm glad you're enjoying the channel because I'm enjoying hanging with you all. Sometimes I get so excited when I'm on live. Yesterday I was kind of excited. Yesterday I don't know why. It, it doesn't happen all the time, but it's like I get kind of wound up. It's kind of weird. I was wound up yesterday when I got off. Because I guess I just like really enjoy um, chit-chatting with you. And I think Bobby got that too when she came on live with us. She, got all, she felt all that fun and enjoyment, and she wants that too. And I want her to have that. You got to find her people. We're her people. She's not a junk journaler though. She does embroidery and uh, quilting, felting, things like that. But she makes some fantabulous uh, blankies. Yeah, I know I'm making a lot of noise with this glue stick, sorry. <laughs> I forgot. See, I got excited talking to y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these and sew these because I don't know how many We'll be able to, how much, many different things we'll be able to make today. But, you know, it's a finish up Friday, so. And no talk about global warming. Ooh, girl, don't get started on that. Don't you get started. All right, so let's cut these. I'm reading the uh, I'm trying to read and cut at the same time. So if I cut my fingernails off, it's all you all's fault. Hey, Libby's. Oh, 
Oh, I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read. I guess the, guess the person that's doing the video is supposed to pay attention to what they're doing. <laughs> Y'all, I really like the idea of putting the paper on here. You can use any kind of um, paper. You have like grid paper or you can use your kids' wide ruled paper. And it doesn't have to be coffee dyed or anything like that. Just stick that paper on here. It looks like it's sewn already. Can y'all see that? And I might have to fix the, the focus for y'all to see. There we go. Can y'all see the stitching around the edges? But I'm still going to stitch it since I have two pieces of paper together. So that's kind of cool. I like that. That is very, very nice. <laughs> watch my fingers. <laughs> I want to watch the chat. I don't want to watch my fingers. Y'all, you could tell it's the holiday season. They got the eggnog going now. Yay. I like eggnog, but I can't drink like straight up eggnog. No way. That stuff messes me up. But they have um like some lactose, lactose free eggnog, and I tried that and man it was so good. And it didn't mess my stomach up. So that was nice. I also had um for the last few years, I've been drinking like coconut um, milk eggnog. You can really only find it in health stores though, because regular milk does not love me. And I haven't had it in so long that I don't love it either. All right, so this is what we have so far. So really, I can just uh, not sew anything on these, but I wanna so some kind of way around the edges. All right, let's take the whipper snapper out. <laughs> Have to focus on the scissors. I don't want to. I don't want to focus on the scissors. You can't make me. Y'all, this desk. This whole place in here is crazy. It's a crazy disaster. All right. Let's bring this here. Um, I've tried the soy and the almond milk. I like the soy milk, but um, the soy milk kind of messes with my stomach too, believe it or not. I don't know why. Cause I, you, I normally just drink, drink like the almond milk. But I haven't um, seen the almond milk eggnog here. So that's the only thing. All right, since these already have like a picture of stitches on it, I'm just going to like do like a straight stitch. Let me fix the focus. So that's nice. So I'm just gonna do a, a plain old straight stitch. I know, boring. <laughs> but I don't wanna. I don't wanna kinda mess up what's already going on on the image. So I still think I'm gonna go like around twice because I like the look of two stitches instead of one. And another thing that I could have did with these was also rounded the corners, but I don't think I'm gonna round the corners on these. I think I'm gonna leave them straight. And these are printed out, not on 32 pound paper, but just regular 20 pound uh, copier paper. And it looks very nice. Look at that, strong. See how it looks on the back? Nice to um, have some place to write. 
And I was thinking about still going around this little guy here. So that's going to kind of mess up the writing space on the back. But let's just, everything's an experiment with me. So let's just see how it's going to look. <laughs> While you're 49 and you've never had eggnog. Oh my gosh. See, I guess we started out uh, at a young age because we always had eggnog around the, the holidays. We even had, I even had a kid's cookbook that showed you how to make uh, eggnog. So I used to make it. And it came out good, too. I used to use all the eggs in the house. <laughs> I don't eat eggs like that anymore, but... It certainly was just delicious. And eggnog ice cream, the flavor of eggnog, it doesn't taste like eggs. I don't know what it tastes. It tastes... I don't know. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's good. Let's see. Of course, I'm going around this picture twice as well. I couldn't help myself. Went off the picture a little bit, but that's all right. All right, let's see. Let's see how this looks. Got a little, I like that. It's not that bad on the back. Still lots of room to journal. All right, let's put that to the side and do uh, this lady here. And I think, I think I'm gonna go around all the pictures. I think it'll still be okay for a journaling card. Cause I just, I'm just feeling the sewing life. All right, so I'm just using the straight stitches, which is number one. And I'm not worrying about my stitch being straight because I like the I like the messy stitch, so it's okay. You know what else you could do you could after you put like the pictures and stuff on you could put like some type of a sealant on here to make sure that things don't come up if you don't have a sewing machine and um, that would work too like some Mod Podge you could use that and I think it would still be uh, very beautiful yeah I agree with you, Jessica. Jessica says it's cheap things eggnog tastes like a weak but delicious um, Eagle brand milk. Yep. It's good. It's so creamy. But And the only thing is the ones that are not made with milk, they're kind of watery. They're not, they don't have like that really delicious, delicious milky texture, unfortunately. But I still like it. I'm used to it, so... I'm like, I can't, can't do the milk, so sometimes you just have to get used to stuff, but it still tastes delicious. It still has that flavor. But I've been looking up some, um, like, vegan recipes for uh, eggnog that would just cut the egg, eggs out, because eggs are definitely not good for the stuff. For the tummy tum, not mine's anyway. Now I'm using like this honeycomb stitch on here that I love. Yeah, I didn't think I was just gonna have like old plain old journal card with just some glue on it, did you? <laughs> of course I'm not. Had to do some stitching. I've never had eggnog warm. I've only had it cold. So I don't know. I don't. 
I don't think I, I want to say I don't like warm milk, but I have had like warm hot cocoa with milk in it and stuff like that. So I might like warm milk. I don't know. So that's this one. And this is what it looks like on the back because we didn't go all the way down. So we got a little opening here. As you can see. So still plenty of space to journal. And next. All right. So we're going to do the straight stitch again. Which is a number one. I have to keep finding stuff with my feet. Yeah, I've only had it cold. I don't know if I would like it. Like it warm, warm eggnog. I remember, you know, how every family has like their traditions and stuff and like the night on uh, Christmas Eve, like our family would get together, like we would get together with our cousins and, um, you know, my aunts and uncles and everybody and they would come over and we would, everybody would have a part for the uh, 12 days of Christmas. And I used to have a partridge in a tree. A, a partridge in a pear tree <laughs> and we would have eggnog and dinner and play games and stuff like that and then on Christmas Day before we opened up our presents we had some eggnog in the morning and waited for everybody to get up you weren't allowed to like go wake mom and dad up you just had to wait until everybody was up and then we opened up our presents in our pajamas <laughs> And since we didn't have like a lot, um, we had, like my mom would give us maybe like two presents that was ours and then we would all have a present that that was for all me and my brother. So like we got a TV and one year we got like a clock radio. <laughs> we got a clock radio for a present. Yeah, I like the way this looks. I don't think I'm gonna do anything to him. I'm gonna leave him the way that he is. I'm not going to stitch him because he is just a lovely. And this one next. Do the straight stitch around. The straight stitch of Rooney. Y'all can sit here and just stitch these like this all day. It's just very easy. These are some easy, easy, easy cards. So if you're part of the swap, don't think too much into it. Just put you some cards together. Print some images or cut some cardstock and add your own little touch to it. Very simple. I definitely want to have some more of these to put into my old book. I need some uh, journal cards and also tags. I want to put some more tags into my book too. Make it nice and fat. I have lots to write about. You should give it a try. You should give it a try, Rhonda. You might like it. Well, we would love to know when you try it. So I'm going to leave this little boy as well. I'm not going to do anything to him, I don't think. Should she or should she not? I think I'm a, he just looks very nice and delicate the way he is. So let's do a, this one. And then after I do this one, then we'll look at all of them that we've done. All right, and all of these have like the image of stitching on it already, so that's why I'm not doing anything elaborate around the sides. Which I, know. I love doing the elaborate elaborative stitching. And definitely if you use some other colored thread too, that would look quite nice. I almost feel like I'm um, sewing over some fabric on here because the fabric image is showing so clear. It's so beautiful. I did a good job, y'all, with these colors. The fabric. 
Dang gone beautiful. Dang gone beautiful. Oh, that's a good idea using um using coloring books. That's thinking out the box. That's what you have to do. You have to think out of the box. And so this is what this one looks like on the back. And I think what I'm going to do with her, though, I am going to just do a few extra stitches here. I have to I have to use my number 27 <laughs> I need number 27 it might be hard to see on the picture but You do need to pull your sewing machine out, Jessica. You need to. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Pull that machine out. And give it some love. Paper crafters deserve to sew too. They have a right. All right. So let's look at, let's pull the whippersnapper out the way here. Let's pull you back up here. And I'll fix the focus in a second, you sec sec. Oh. And I'm going to come down some though so y'all can see what these look like. And I think I'm, I might go around with a um, vintage photo on these before I finish. Finish up. We still have a few minutes, so that's cool. Y'all don't mind having a close-up shot of my hands, because y'all know. Sometimes hand shots freak me out. Hey, I got a question for you all. Because since I've been doing the live videos, I haven't... Uh, had to go into editing mode that much, but now I'm back in editing mode of some of my videos. And before I put like music onto the videos and stuff like that, and I'll tell you, even when I'm watching other people's videos, sometimes I don't want to hear the music because they just loop that music over and over again and it drives me crazy. So I wanted to know from you all, how do you feel about um, videos that only have music and no uh, and no voiceover? Or do you just like the voiceover and no music? Or do you like both? So give it a one. Put a one in if you only like music. Two, if you only like voice. And three, if you like both. Ooh, I love this card. Get that. It look it really made the picture stand out once I went around the edges of this. That's beautiful. So one for music only. Two for voiceover and three for both. Inquiring minds want to know. So I'm not gonna smooch up this whole card, I'm just gonna smooch up the edges. So we have a voice over only. We have both. And then we have another voice over only. So we got 21 people here. So if you can respond, I would love to hear what you have to say. Because I will listen. So we have three, but mo mostly voice. Y'all, it drives me crazy when somebody has stuff and then they have like the, they have text on there. Because it's hard to read the text and watch what they're doing, too. That drives me mad. <laughs> and then they just have music, but they don't, they're do not they not saying anything. Then I have to... So I, I have to multitask when I'm watching a video. I don't know how I feel about that. 
So we have a bunch of just voices. And, yep, and then we have Jessica says she likes both, to have both in the video. Diane says just voice. See, this is interesting. You guys are giving me some very good feedback because I've never, um, I've never asked before. And I guess you'll never know if you don't ask. For sure. So Rhonda says that she doesn't like the ones where they don't talk. She says she gets lost <laughs> and quit watching. I don't, I don't get lost. I, I mean, I do get lost. I do get lost in some of them, especially if I have to read the text. I'm like, oh, I, I'll usually hang on until. But I, I also watch a lot of videos at double speed, too, because if they're taking too long to get to what people probably watch my videos at double speed. <laughs> oh, Jessica, you meant two. OK, I see the majority likes um, two. You know what? I also, I don't mind music if it's music that I like. But the problem is you don't know what music everybody likes. And also, um, with the music, sometimes people have the music too loud. And I was watching this one lady's video. I was watching it today. And I forgot what the video was about. But she had some music in the background and it wasn't like real loud but it just kept looping and it was some annoying music and i just had to turn it off and i was like man i like her channel so i, I looked for some of her other videos and they had the same thing and i was like well i'll have to move on because <clears throat> it was just too much for me i couldn't do it i was distracted so jessica says sometimes she likes only music but it's it's if it's too intricate you need a voice I agree I agree oh I was also watching this lady's video and she was binding a book and it was cool and I was like man I was all interested and she was skipping some stuff like it would go to like the next part and stuff and of course it just had music on it so I was like it, y'all this is coming off so y'all know what I'm gonna do I'm just going to use a staple. Ta -ta. And he's back on. And he's not, the staple's not taking up too much space. So yay for that. So I don't know why she did that. Like she, why didn't she just not show that video? <laughs> because one of the most important parts, she just skipped that whole step. I was like, ugh. Why did she do that? But I'll probably still watch her channel because she has some good videos. Oh no, Livy, you can't figure it out on the tension. Did you just try to just like rethread the machine altogether? And then test your tension out? Because that kind of sucks. So Livy says three is fine for artsy work. Sometimes I just I think out of those three choices for me, it's a mixed bag. Because I do like, I could just do voice only. Because then I know if it's a tutorial, of course. And um, I could also just do just music only um, when I'm watching other people's videos. But I don't like music and text. Because I don't want to read. I, if it's something, like you said, it's, it's something that's... Um, really simple the music is fine, but I really don't like both. <laughs> I Don't like both because I'm multitasking again because I'm trying to listen over the music and sometimes the music is annoying Yeah, and sometimes we as creators I have to say in the creators defense Sometimes we just make so many videos. We just make mistakes when it comes to music. I know I had one video and the music was really loud and I didn't know it and sometimes we also have to remember that 
uh, we have a diverse crowd of people that are watching the videos and sometimes we have people who are hearing impaired and so when you have like that music in the background it is um, the music comes to the forefront if they're wearing some type of uh, hearing um, apparatuses so we have to be careful of that too and keep the music low but then sometimes the music is so low it's just annoying <laughs> That's my take on it. Sometimes it's just friggin' annoying. I agree with you, Rhonda. Rhonda says that she can't get the gist of instructions if there is no talking. She's a verbal follower. I get that. <laughs> oh, uh, you rethreaded three times, Livy's. Oh, man. I don't know what to tell you, girl. I haven't had that issue. Knock on wood. Okay, so let's look at what we have now. If anybody else has any advice for Livy's on her uh, machine, because her machine, her tension is jacked up, and she's tried threading it, rethreading it three times and changing the tension. So if anybody has any um, suggestions, that would be lovely. All right, so this is the front of this, and I did some sewing around this part here, around the picture. But I didn't sew on the words, so we still have plenty of space for our journaling. And then also, I love, I think this might be my favorite. So this was one of the bigger uh, fabric pockets. Now look at that, it can't even fit on here. Let me go up a little bit. Look at that, she's beautiful, compassion. And I just did my favorite stitch on there. I love all the stitches, so beautiful. I hear you, Penny. There's a way for you to automatically do that when you do the editing too, so that the music comes up when you're not talking. But sometimes it'll come up really loud. So, so us as editors have to be careful about that. All right, and... I got this one with the little baby and the mama life and I just y'all I just picked out the words I had my eyes closed I swear and so the words kind of came out perfect look doesn't she look compassionate and doesn't this little boy look strong in his picture and doesn't this lady with her baby doesn't that say life that's amazing and then this guy right here He's a guy, and guys are usually on a mission, so mission just popped out. It's kind of like tarot cards. You know, you pick tarot cards and certain things kind of jump out at you. And then this little guy, he didn't like his outfit, and he hoped that it would get changed before they took the picture. <laughs> so that's what jumped out for uh, him and then. That's the back of that one. So Creative Nana says, this is for you, Livy. It says, do a new bobbin. That's been my problem a, a time or two. And also other times, the machine had a thread piece in there that was causing the problem. And I have to say, anytime that I've had like a, a problem as well, it was usually the bobbin. But I didn't know that, it, I guess I would... Oh, you know what? You need to read your manual because I think I uh, remember reading something about it's a, there is a setting on the, on my not, I don't know what kind of machine you have, but I know on the, um, on Old Faithful, there was a, on the bobbin, there was some kind of way that you can do some type of tension on there. So it might be, it might be the bobbin. So you need to read your manual. I agree. I agree with you, Creative Nana. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we did one, two, three, four. One big old large one here. Oh, we just did five cards. But they're beautiful. These came out really beautiful. Y'all need to go over to Pleasant Creations and get this darn fabric pockets, these di that digital kit, I'm telling you. <laughs> this is kind of cool. 
Thank you, Izzy. I'm glad you have fun today so I can write on the back of these and you can write on the back of yours or if you're in the swap, you can send some cards like these to your swap partner. So I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Remember to make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll know when the videos are coming out because we'll have more content. It will be coming out on the weekends as well. So I'm trying to get that going for you. And if you want even more content, come over to the Patreon page, which is uh, Liz for a day over there as well. All the links are in the description below. And with that, I am going to shove off and say love, peace, and hair grease for you, from your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.